Well, here we have the Helio Spring F4 flight controller. This one I have here is the version 2. It's a little bit different to the version 1, which is the one I have here on this schematic of wiring connections. But essentially what I will show today is how to connect a port. So for that, there is no any difference between the version 2, version 1, and not even the, the AIO Helios a four flight controller which is this one the one I will do in the demo then as you can see here on the wiring schema for example here this is the ground here is the five volts right is this cable here and then here is the SBOS connection which we won't be using for this this is the smart port that is coming to this tab here right so only we will need to wire ground VCC 5 volts for the RSSR in this case for the receiver and the F port as you can see here I have it here on the this is the AIO uh, this is the smart port here connected this will be the space for the SBOS the 5 volts for the receiver and the ground from the receiver only these three cables which are as you see in the graphs here are the three ground with 5 volts and smart port right so those three cables are the only thing that you need to connect here we are assuming here that I'm not showing in this video there is a lot of video on that or about that on the internet uh, showing how to flash this with the F4 firmware F4 enabled firmware so the same thing I won't showing how to flash the firmware to the Helios flight controller this uh, I have it with the Betafly 3.5.2 and Odin firmware from for the IMU. Well, let's check on Betafly how it's configured. To set up F port, of course, we need to go to configuration and enable right serial based receiver and select here F port. Save that. Then if you connect if you connect the this the smart port on the smart port pin or pad here on the Helio Sprint, which is the right place to do it, you need to select the port the serial RX on the UR1. So the serial port number one. If you connect the smart port cable coming from the RSXR in the one second, it's not seen yet, right? If you connect the smart port in the SBOS path on the Helio Spring board, will work as well as I said, but will not receive back telemetry. In this case, we are using the smart port pad on the Helio Spring. And then for that we need to select, as I say here, the serial port number one, save and reboot. We don't need to do anything extra to that. Because once you put the four here, the port correctly here, and you are one, and you have the configuration set for F port, F port here, you're done. That's it. So let's see how that works. So now we go to the receiver tab. Right? We turn on the transmitter and immediately connects and F4 is working so as simple as that you don't need to go to the CLI you don't need to and put the inverter on or the half duplex on or anything like that so as is by default is off, both are off, will work that way. Even if we set the inverter to on, it should continue working. So again, you only need to come here, set the serial port number one, put the cable here on the smart port pad on the Helios Sprint using the smart port cable, the standard one, not the Hackett, not the Hackett un uninverted uh, smart port. You use the standard smart port from the connector. Come here, set the serial port 1, 
you go to configuration serial bus here serial receiver here and then the F port here save and that's it you're done well this is everything for the moment so if you have any question please put the comment down below and I will try to answer as soon as possible anything all right thank you until the next one have a good one